One of the downstream effects of the difficulty in getting home tests right now is, is the, the return of, of, a, uh, of, of a parlor game that has been epidemic in my house, uh, which is, is it a cold or is it COVID? So what, what, what guidance can you give people who are asking themselves that when they can't get their hands on a, on a test right away? There are a couple things that, that, that I hope folks will, will think about. A, think a little bit about your exposure risk. If you may have been exposed to somebody with COVID-19, it increases the probability that it's COVID-19. But to be sure, we all know that the symptoms kind of look and feel the same way. You have uh, the, the, the running nose and the sore throat and the cough and, uh, and the headache. I'd pay attention to a couple things though. Even though with Omicron, it's less likely that you're gonna lose your sense of smell or your sense of taste, those are really specific for COVID-19. And the second that seems to be a bit more common with Omicron given the data uh, is a headache. And so if you've been in a situation where you may have been exposed, it's worth looking back and asking, actually asking the people that you were with, was there a positive test there? And once you start feeling those symptoms, even if it, if it is a cold or flu, given the goal of, of flattening the curve, it, it's worth isolating yourself and, and getting a couple of tests. The other important point here is that don't test immediately after you might have been exposed. But once you get, you're getting symptoms, you want to test one day and then test again the next day uh, just to be sure uh, as you're isolating. But it is a frustrating situation to be in uh, considering that it is the holiday season and we're liable to deal with the cold and, uh, and the flu in this time of year anyway.